Zeta is a small composition which is made of three parts traditionally. Paco changed that, but before it was made of three parts. One part presents an idea, the other part places a question, then it comes the answer to that question, and then it comes the conclusion or the remedy, the concluding part, which also has to uh, go to the fifth seventh flat nine. For example, what I played before, which is from Lucia Album, El Chorrello, the very best player I ever made in the history of flamenco, the Paco Lucia. That one there, you can see how many harmonic changes it has, but Paco said that it has to come back to the fifth seventh flat nine. So that is one school of what a falsetta is. Everyone is into this falsetta stuff, they don't know what is a falsetta. If you ask, just ask anyone, what is falsetta? Well, it's just a phrase that is, no, 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 it has its science. So, made of three parts, let me explain to you in simple words. What the falsetta is from the point of the contour, choosing notes, the rhythm it has, and the structure it has. Because in music, has choosing notes aspect is which scale is being used, minor melodic, minor harmonic, etc. This is one point. Then the contour of the phrase, which pattern the melody follows, and then the rhythm it has, and then the structure also of what traditional. What a falsetta is, because Paco said if it does not solve to the fifth of the line, it's not a falsetta. That is another thing. And maybe it's great, but that's another thing. And we should know it, even if we do it on purpose. Right? So therefore, remember that the falsetta is a small composition which follows a certain structure, traditionally, of these four parts. Of presenting an idea, placing a question, Answering that question and then conclusion of the remate ending. Watch the description of this video, the first link about how to work with the Andalusian cadence melodically, because that is a, is a phrasing lesson. And to get that concept of where does this music come, as Paco said, comes from the Andalusian cadence, and also how is that this has to be approached in this way of presenting an idea, placing a question, answering and conclusion. And this is what the falsetta is for the first time in the history of teaching in flamenco because you can search everywhere. Some guy also said some uh, about this, which of course I was the first one who posted. I will post the third link in the description of this video also that, but that was first person explaining this, what the falsetta was me, and that video had also how to practice it. Therefore, I decided to make another one now to explain just this subject of not how to practice but what a falsetta is really. Because also before Paco de Lucia, falsettas uh, were to be played like classic guitar, it's always the same, the same, the same. It was a static concept of falsetta, not a dynamic concept. So there is three, also three layers here, more, which is one, composing a falsetta or playing a falsetta in the same way then playing it with different nuances, like Paco, which by the, way, who, by the way never played anything twice the same, he said it 20 times, and I will also post the description of this video, he said it. There is no way 
that, that, that Paco played twice anything same. It was always slightly different or very different, or sometimes just totally different. In fact, inside the falsetta realm, we're not talking about soloing or improvisation, just like it's the falsetta. And then there is also improvising falsettas in the spot, which Paco did. Paco said, well, I was recording with Camarón most of the stuff there, which is not in the albums, of course, because I was improvising the falsettas. So improvising a falsetta in the spot, that's also another thing. And then one more, which is to use the falsettas and the structure and improvise inside it. So you can play it one way, you can play it with different, as a variation, changing things. You can also improvise a totally new one to you, obviously, because it didn't exist before you improvise it there in the spot. And also you can use the structure of a certain falsetta and, play, and use it like a just standard structure of chord changes and improvise inside that. That's the Paco de Lucia's style. Tú hablabas también de técnica y de improvisación. ¿Cuál crees tú que es la relación entre estos dos conceptos? Yo pienso que la improvisación viene a través de mucha técnica. La improvisación para mí es la expresión del artista según su estado de ánimo. Pero si tiene problemas con los dedos, entonces ya no, no puede existir la, la improvisación. El artista debe tener una superación de la técnica muy, muy, muy elevada, ¿no? Para que cuando sienta algo lo pueda expresar sin que los dedos le molesten para ello. Le ayudó porque descubrí ahí el... La improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no?